Well, hello. Uh, by way of introduction, my name's Colin, and Ricky's uh, asked me to give you a little tour of uh, the Brigantine. Um, you'll probably, we'll put some pictures on as well to show you uh, the outside, but the idea of this little video is to show you uh, through the tour. And as a finesse boat owner myself, uh, this has been a real privilege to look round this boat because last time I saw it was in 2019 at the Crick Boat Show when it won the favourite uh, wide beam, uh, rightly won the uh, favourite uh, wide beam of the show. So I'm starting on the back deck, a great place to, to sit out, a fantastic design. The, the social area of sitting out here but being involved with the people here in the, in the wheelhouse. Um, as you'll see the wheelhouse very cleverly is designed hydraulically to go uh, up and down uh, so going under bridges and so on are on the canals but in fact I think it's probably my favorite space of the whole boat to come inside with this great internal seating area when it's a bit chilly outside happens in England of course uh, the leather sofa here uh, there's a table underneath that comes out uh, into the it becomes like an impromptu uh, dining room here lots of storage uh, outside chairs here um, the controls over there for the uh, for the hydraulic uh, roof and then I'll bring you around to show you this really elegant driving position beautiful wooden uh, Vita steering wheel huge big rudder gauge and very clever design of the the gear and the Morse control it's it's a John Deere diesel engine with hydraulic controls and as I understand it from Ricky it means you can put it in gear but have variable uh, idle speeds uh, so it makes the boat very controllable. Good displays, surround cameras, so from here there's a great view from the deck here but surround cameras so you can see behind the sides and the front. All the controls you need like the bow thrusters and the engine controls from John Deere up there. And I love this area here where you can put your charts, your laptops, phones, uh, that sort of thing. All these windows are very cool. Let me see if I can show you one. They've all got sun blinds on or if you want to be uh, private in the evening. And these outlets here for, for hot air, a little bit like windshield on your car uh, for, for demisting uh, when, you're, uh, when you're in here and, and driving. Windscreen wiper on the front and just such a fantastic surround view. A very elegant, very elegant space and beautiful woodwork. Come, come on down in, uh, and have a look around inside. Oh wow, that is, that's just as cool as I remember it. So there's this huge galley area, cupboards everywhere, lots and lots of storage. This is a nice feature here with the, uh, let's see if I can make it work, there we go, the extractor fan. And um, what do you call this, an induction hob, smeg, uh, smeg oven and hob uh, in this one. There's a fridge. I think this, if I remember rightly, this was the, yeah, the dishwasher. Now, that doesn't look like it's been used. Now, I think that probably gives the idea of, of why this boat is so special, is that uh, if you don't want to make wait the 18 months it takes to, to build one, this is like a new boat. Um, everything, I walk on it and I feel that it's a, it's a new boat. Um, loads of loads of storage. I love these little chevrons in the woodwork. You probably know Finesse make all their own cabinets. They've all been uh, handmade, hand painted here uh, in uh, in the boatyard in Sheffield. As have all these fantastic windows. I think it's a great feature of the boat. The uh, tinted glass, blackened uh, windows, double glazed. And all of them have got, if I can reach over, these elegant little retractable blinds uh, for making it private uh, in, in the evening. Um, other nice little features to notice. There's a, even got your little wine cellar in the floor. And if I open the cupboard door here, uh, just in front of the microwave, that goes through to, to the engine bay. And uh, Ricky can move the camera in there. I, I also see there's a small freezer, uh, a washer dryer, and, and actually plenty of storage space as well. Quite a cool space. I'll come back to, uh, to Ricky from the other side. Great big coat cupboard here. Uh, things like mops and hoovers, that sort of thing. 
all the kitchen surfaces that's a lovely feature with the curve on there the corian going down to the uh, the floor again handmade uh, in the workshops here uh, by uh, by finesse let's put that guy back down come on through into the uh, the saloon the lounge there's a few things for you to notice if you like to have a fish tank then this is the boat for you um, it may be that other owners would uh, would easily change that into a cupboard. Great big TV there, lovely big space. It's a great social space here uh, in the lounge. Uh, huge skylight, it, it slides electrically uh, to open and uh, beautiful feature lighting, little LED lights along the side and the, this thinly cut Corian that's been inset into the roof and, uh, and gets backlit, it looks beautiful in the evening as, as a great feature. Coming down to, if you like, the sort of centerpiece of the lounge. I didn't even remember this, but this is fantastic. A little pellet-fired uh, wood stove, uh, lots of drinks cabinets, and uh, all the drawers underneath this. If you've owned a boat before, you'll know that storage is everything. And there's cupboards hidden everywhere down. Look at the width of this corridor. That's a really cool feature. I like the separating wood, sockets everywhere. Very good use of little cupboards on the under gunnel uh, space in here. And what we'll do is go to the, if you like, the second bedroom first. So this is set up uh, with uh, two single beds, lots of, come in and have a look, Ricky, lots of storage space uh, all the way around. The smaller windows, again, with the little blinds, cupboards over all the beds, cupboards under the beds great space for guests or family uh, on your on your boat great and as we make our way down the corridor towards the front of the boat uh, the next room along is uh, the shower room bathroom and to me this is one of the favorite places of the boat it looks more like a kind of posh hotel shower room than something you'd find on the boat a great big walk-in shower Lovely feature lighting around the, uh, the mirror. Quite cool how they hide the towels away in the, in the cupboards. And again, lots of cupboards and storage through, throughout the boat. And then we get to the front of the boat. Now this, this is sort of bedroom I'd like to find, uh, I'd like to have on a boat. Again, we've got the Corian inset into the ceiling. The same thing with a big skylight that opens uh, electronically. Little recessed cupboards above the bed, king size bed, cupboards. Oh, this is clever. This is actually beautifully done in handmade oak, but with uh, glass, uh, reflective glass set into the uh, side of the boat. The bed is floating with lights underneath, and these are good as well. Great big cupboards. So, one side for hanging, coats, dresses, that sort of thing, and the other side. Uh, a mixture of shelves and uh, and handmade drawers and cupboards. Uh, throughout the boat, good radiators, worth having a little look at. Central, oh that's nice and warm, central heating uh, all the way through the uh, through the boat and as I say you can open both the skylights and the back door to get some uh, fresh air in on the uh, on the warmer days. Well I've had a tour of the outside with uh, Ricky and we'll drop some shots uh, into into the video as well. I was asking him about the, the wheelhouse. It's such a great feature uh, of the boat. Apparently it takes about 10 minutes uh, to raise and lower it. Each of these windows can be opened on kind of magnetic catches from, uh, from inside as well. And uh, we'll drop a couple of photos in uh, of that too. So what's my impression? This is, this is an amazing boat. It's a beautiful boat and uh, if you were buying one new like this from Finesse now, I think you'd probably be looking around about £500,000. So if you're interested in buying a boat and getting it quickly um, and you're wanting to get uh, one at a, at a good discount, then it's really worth popping along, seeing Ricky or Chris up here at uh, Finesse yourself and they'll happily show you around the boat. And if you come to see it, well, I hope you've in, you enjoy looking around it as much as I have. And thanks for watching this video.